How do you do, fellow kids? This is Neon, this is Clownfish TV, and this is another solo vid because Geeky is not feeling very well today. Uh, I gave her my crud, I apologize. Uh, she'll be back hopefully in a day or two, but uh, we're gonna talk about, <laughs> we're gonna talk about some cringe. We're gonna talk about Kamala Harris using Fortnite to try to uh, you know, rustle up some votes from, uh, from Gen Z. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is gonna go. This is gonna go the way they think it's gonna go. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna react to this. This is coming from IGN. They're using Fortnite now to try to get young voters to vote for Kamala Harris. But it's not just it's not just Kamala Harris. It's actually her running mate as well. Uh, Tim Walz is playing Crazy Taxi on the Dreamcast. You know, at least it wasn't. At least it wasn't Atari. Uh, no, actually, uh, I freaking love the Dreamcast. I, I have to give him props for that. But he's not. He's not terribly good at it. But this does remind me of a couple of years ago when uh, the Democrats were using uh, Animal Crossing to to try to get some younger voters interested. They had their own islands set up. Uh, I think we, we had uh, Biden Island and we had uh, AOC Island, or AOC was going around visiting other people's islands because you know that's what all the cool kids are doing so i can't decide where they actually stand or where democrats currently stand on video games because we have a lot of far left activists now these are far left activists i'm not talking moderate democrats right but who think that video games are awful it's the chuds it's the toxic gamers toxic gamers toxic gamers and now let's go appeal to the gamers and this is coming um you know, a day or two after Glenn Beck was making comments about uh, gamers. And uh, we have Matt Walsh making comments about gamers. And man, I put that video up yesterday. Some of you got super salty. Like, I literally make thousands of videos. We make thousands of videos uh, calling out ridiculous far left activists and activism. I make one video critical of a right wing guy and everybody loses their shit. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Seriously? Uh, right fragility. No. <laughs> uh, but no, it's it's interesting though, because I mean, I thought, I thought the story was that all the gamers, the alt-right gamers were the ones that were supporting the Republicans now. And we have, you know, some of these talking heads. And again, they, uh, you know, they don't speak for everyone, obviously, right? Obviously, I think a moron knows that, but you know, it's just... They're actively chasing gamers away. Maybe they're chasing them into the arms of the other side. I don't know. Gamers are a hockey puck, right? Video games are a hockey puck being used in a stupid culture war. But, um, you know, I, I guess, I guess uh, if you're down and uh, you've only got a week and a half to go, uh, I guess Fortnite's the most popular thing out there. I'm sure a bunch of 11-year-olds are totally going to vote for Kamala Harris. So let's uh, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Check out check out clownfishminus.com. Clownfish Minus, we're posting original podcast content over there. We're going to post some original comic stuff over there pretty soon. We're trying to get a game plan going, but we're trying to build off platform a little bit. So let's um let's take a let's take a look at this, guys. Uh, we're going to watch the uh, they have a trailer. Um, IGN has a trailer. This is exclusive. The Kamala Harris campaign has revealed a first look at the Harris themed Fortnite map as the Democrats continue their push to target gamers in the presidential elections final days. Yeah, they've targeted gamers. Uh, they've targeted gamers for years. They've been targeting gamers for years. Remember, uh, the New York Times infamously had a headline from Fortnite to alt right. I guess, I guess we're just going to forget about that. I guess we're just going to forget about that now. So let's go look at this. This is, uh, this is coming from IGN. Kamala Harris is courting gamers using Fortnite. In the latest week of the U.S. presidential campaign, new Fortnite creative map supporting the campaign will make a final push for young male voters. Yeah, like 11-year-olds, like 13-year-olds, they can't vote. Kamala, they cannot vote yet. Are they going to tell their dads their moms and dads go vote for for Harris cuz she's cool, she's hip. She knows what's up cuz she she has a Fortnite map. Uh so it's the final week before the presidential election and in the waning hours of her campaign, 
Vice President Kamala Harris is making a bid to a group that's not often targeted in such races, gamers. How many years did you have to try to win back gamers? And instead, far-left activists spent all their time attacking gamers. I'm just saying, you can't wait until a week before the fucking election to decide that you like video games. I'm just saying. Today, Harris's campaign is launching its own Fortnite map, Freedom Town USA. It's a custom creative map themed around some of Harris's campaign pledges, including tax breaks for small businesses and a focus on affordable housing. Uh, here's the code for it. It's on the screen. It can be observed uh, in a dedicated partner stream for Fortnite content creators such as Jordan Huskers Thomas, Model Morgue. I don't even know who these people are. I don't even like Fortnite. I hate Fortnite. I think it's cringy. But apparently, apparently these people are big uh, Fortnite streamers. Let's let's watch this. Let's watch this uh, uh, video together, guys. Uh, Harris and Disney. They're they're gonna they're gonna reach the kids, reach the youngins. All right, here we go, guys. Freedom Town, USA. Play now. What the hell? Fight for freedom, Kamala. Look at you cis white males jumping for Kamala. Oh, now we're doing the Sonic the Hedgehog thing. God, that's that's pretty cringy, right? That's pretty cringy. Uh, is that all they got? Freedom Town USA is joined by political takeovers of at least eight other Fortnite creative maps, which will include political in-game signage, custom models, and themed audio cues. One of these cues played when collecting a cat plays a quote from Harris's rival, former President Trump. They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? They're going to... They're going to use the Trump meme in the Harris Fortnite map. This is like this is like an episode of Parks and Rec. This is how Leslie Nope tries to get elected or some shit, if they had Fortnite back then. Did they have Fortnite back then? They might have had Fortnite. Fortnite's been around a long time. This is right there, the Minecraft and the, God, this move comes as a part of a recent, yeah, like as of this week, recent, much broader appeal made by the Harris campaign to reach young male voters through video games. Other recent efforts include a Geeks and Nerds for Harris fundraiser, a weekend Twitch stream where Tim Walls played uh, Madden NFL and Crazy Taxi with AOC, and we're going to watch that one, too. And a number of advertising efforts across mobile games, sports betting platforms, and YouTube channels. Basically, all the people that you've been demonizing for the last, God, not even four years, eight years, ten years, the far left, especially activists, especially the, the, the media, especially, they've been demonizing gamers. Demonizing young male gamers in particular. Of course, young male white cis gamers. And now you've decided that you love them. You know why they're doing this, right? She's got to be down. She's got to be down. And they're like, oh, my God, all the all the young male voters are going to vote for Trump because they like the crypto and the Elon. And that's what do we do? What what oh, what's something we've heard of? Oh, oh, yeah, Fortnite. Yeah, Disney's doing Fortnite. We can Fortnite, too. And then they go to old uh, uh, Tim here. Tim, do you do you play video games? Well, I think I have an old Dreamcast in the back of my closet from 25 years ago or whatever. Hey, I, I look, I want to disclaim, I fucking love the Dreamcast. Dreamcast is Sega's finest machine ever. Uh, that being said, uh, it is definitely, uh, definitely old man game time. But I can't say anything. I'd do the same thing. I'd be like, if I had the choice between playing some of the new shit that's coming out, the DEI infused shit, and playing a couple hours of Crazy Taxi, I'm going to play Crazy Taxi. I fucking love Crazy Taxi. We've had, we bought Crazy Taxi. God, I don't know how many times. My kids still, my kids still have our copy of Crazy Taxi for the PS2. And we still have our original PS2. And Geeky bought me that PS2 before we got married. She bought it for me. And so she enabled my gaming habit. And, and she also buys me the little figurines that uh, Glenn Beck hates so much. Let's watch uh, Tim Waltz play, play uh, Crazy Taxi. <clears throat> got, got to go, but I wanted to try something if you think I can since you got yeah. me on here. I asked my team. 
back in the old days, I had that Sega Dreamcast. Thing. Oh my God, I was joking. He, he like literally had the Sega Dreamcast sitting in the closet. He had kind of the, I don't know if it came, your, your folks on here could probably tell me. It either came before or right after Grand Theft Auto, which I thought was a little, you know. Depends on which Grand Theft Auto we're talking about, but. Uh, oh my God. Might not be, I was teaching school. I thought that's a little bit harsh. So there was a game similar to it, uh, Crazy Taxi. No, Crazy Taxi is nothing like Grand Theft Auto. Well, it is, but it isn't. Like the Grand Theft Auto that would have been out back then would have been the PS1 version, right? And it was it was a very different game. I, I tried showing kids Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2, and they're like, is this even the same franchise? I'm like, yeah. Is it supposed to look like it's only a step or two above the Super NES? I'm like, yeah, yeah, those were the actual graphics, yeah. And, oh my uh, gosh. Drive around. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I yeah! But I'm, I'm going to come on here in a minute. Here we go. I'm going to play this thing. Go ahead and pick and I'm, Okay, so oh here's my the deal God. Too. You can pick these characters, and if you get really good, I found this out, and it might be the coolest thing that I've had happen to me. There's a character of me in there. At some Are you point. serious? I yeah, I'm not. Te I'm terrible. I <laughs> what? know the controllers on Xbox, but I, I just wanted to try it once with you. Oh, oh my gosh. I gotta go pick these people up. Get in, get in, dude. And here we go. And then you. Uh, oh my God. You gotta drive them. So I mean, the great thing about the great thing about Crazy Taxi oh is it shows God. San Francisco or fake San Francisco in its <laughs> in its prime before the the shit on the streets. And oh no, there we go. Yeah, see, sweet. Dude, okay, hold you're on. good. <laughs> not bad. I'm not bad. No, oh he drives. My God. No, wait, he's wait. not that good. Oh, wait, dude. Like, no, he actually... overran his spot. No, he's not actually I that good. I had the money in my pocket. <laughs> no, 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 Here no. We go. I, I can't. I can't. Anyway, so there we go, guys. Uh, how do you do, fellow kids? Um, I'm going to wrap this one up. Nerds for Harris. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news views. And rants. We'll talk later. Join the reef. Go to clownfishminus.com. That's clownfishminus.com. You will get exclusive access to podcasts and videos and comic strips and more, as well as merch discounts. Check it out. If you were a member, you could get this t shirt, this dismal t shirt. On our website, you'd get a 10% discount on that. You can also join in the community on clownfishminus.com. Thank you so much for the support.